you own beef cattle, you need to be practicing low stress cattle handling. It is much safer for you and it is also much safer for the animal. First, you need to have a well designed handling facility that is in good repair. Second, you need to remain calm when working cattle. Third, you need to remain calm when working cattle. I don't think this can be overemphasized as we are working with these animals. We need to calmly bring them up to the facility and then remain calm and ease them through the facility as we are getting ready to perform the necessary management practices. As we're bringing the animals up, uh, in many situations, it may be fine to use a dog if that's what you're customarily doing. But once you get the animals up to the corral area, you need to put the dog up because many times that dog will still be wanting to help, will put uh, uh, itself in jeopardy, also will be nipping at the animals and will keep them excited. So again, it's, I'm, we're not anti-using dogs, but there is a time and there is a place for them. Uh, also, we need to be using a cattle paddle or a broom to uh, move the animals around in the corral area and on up to the chute. There is no need to be using large sticks or clubs to, to move the animals. Uh, some producers like to use a hot stick. We recommend that a hot stick only be used in those situations where an animal is just simply not going to be caused to move by any other method. Uh, we see producers that start using that hot stick from the time that uh, they can get close enough to touch the animal until the animal leaves the facility. That animal is going to get very excited. Also, it gets a lot of stress hormones flowing and that's going to reduce the effectiveness of any vaccines that we might be using. Uh, we also need to be real sure in our facility that we have all shadows removed so that the cattle will flow quite well through the facility. Have it well lit, have light at the end of the uh, uh, squeeze chute so that the animals uh, are moving toward the light. Consequently, they should not move through the facility much easier. I always need to try to keep noise to a minimum, not a lot of shouting, not yelling, beating on the walls or anything like that. The quieter and the calmer we keep that animal, the better it's going to be. Another thing we always need to keep in mind when we're working these animals is be sure that all of our tools are in good working order. If it's needles that they're all sharp, if we're castrating that the castrating knife is sharp. Uh, that's just simply going to be less stressful on the animal uh, if we don't have uh, a dull instrument that we're trying to use. Uh, something else that we need to always keep in mind is to utilize labor that has had experience in working cattle. I think all of us have seen individuals that are very good hearted, want to do everything they can to help, but they simply don't have uh, that knowledge and that uh, comfort level that's needed when they're trying to work animals. So it's better to just be sure, kind of screen the labor that we have to be sure they can uh, do a good job in working the animals, keep them calm, keep them moving through the facility. Uh, something a lot of producers don't think about is that if they are uh, rather rowdy taking animals through the chute this time, it may be more difficult to get that animal through the next time. I've seen this happen with old cows in particular. They do remember, so if it's uh, not too bad of an experience when they go through that first time, the next time it won't be near as hard to get those animals through. I mentioned earlier that animals that are not stressed, uh, we can sure get a lot better benefit out of the vaccines that we're getting because it seems that those stress hormones when they are at high levels do lower the uh, activity of some of the vaccines that we're using. Uh, the other thing is we will be reducing the potential damage to carcasses by not having that animal moving around a whole lot when we're uh, uh, performing these practices because a, a needle can be a very dangerous thing and can cause some, some major damage as can some other uh, management practices. Something else that we always need to keep in the back of our mind is that we don't want that animal to get hurt when we're running it through that facility, neither do we want to get hurt. Uh, I think if we stay calm and we have the facilities in good working order, that we minimize the chance of either the animal or us getting hurt. Uh, I think it's very, very important that we always keep low stress cattle handling in mind anytime we have to get those animals to up to perform management practices. If you need additional information about low stress cattle handling, please contact your local extension agent.